it's time to hit the jackpot because you're listening to How to Bet, hosted by Daryl Fine and Sean Miller, breaking down betting into four categories to help you stay ahead of the game, sharing their thoughts, opinions, and analysis on how to bet it, where to bet it, and who to bet on. Now here are your hosts, Daryl Fine and Sean Miller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Bet, our HowToBet.com podcast. I'm Daryl Fine along with Sean, the genius, Miller, Neri Rodriguez, and uh, we've uh, we well we've broken down the west, the south, the east, and now it is time to break down the Midwest. Potentially great Final Four upcoming. Uh, this, I mean, this could be this could be you know must watch TV going forward. Uh, it should be must watch TV going forward. Uh, remember, you watching us on YouTube, we do appreciate it. We also would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, but please subscribe. Go to howtobet.com. You're going to see various sports book uh, promotions from just sports books all around the country, including the two scrolling down there. There are uh, promos you get on howtobet.com, uh, exclusive offers from FanDuel and from Points Bet. So get there early, get there often. Uh, Sean, let's break down the Midwest, these games Friday night in Chicago. Before we do that, there are, there's potential. Now, I know I know you don't like Duke. Uh Sean, do you like Texas Tech to win this game? But how about a how about a Duke Gonzaga uh, game in, in the Elite? I mean, there, there's potential for just outstanding games. Elite Eight Duke uh, uh, Gonzaga would be just you know Coach K against the number one team in the nation. Uh, a few who has not won it against Coach K, who's who's in, you know is it would be his last day. his his next loss is his last day on the job. So it'll, it'll be, uh, there's so, so much potential. You have a, a Villanova, Arizona potential. You have, uh, how about a Duke have, North Carolina final four you, game? You could have that. You could have that. You still have that in, in the works. You have potentially St. Peter's moving on. That would be the Cinderella story of all time. And then here, as we break down the Midwest in Chicago, you still have a number one seed left against more Cinderella. Like, you know, you have a 10 or 11 that's going to move forward to the Elite Eight, and we're going to get to that now. So you have the number one seed, Kansas and Providence. Again, these games played in Chicago on Friday night. Kansas, a seven-and-a-half-point favorite over a Providence team that feels very much disrespected after winning the regular uh, Big East regular season. Uh, San Diego State, they're only a two-point favorite against San Diego State, and a lot of the country – like San Diego State in uh, San, I'm sorry, South Dakota State. They were two point favor against South Dakota State. A lot of country loved uh, the Jackrabbits in that one. And then a Richmond team. They were small favor to get to a Richmond team who did a great job knocking off Iowa in Game One. They went and beat them 79 51. So Ed Cooley and his Friars feel disrespected. They're playing with a chip on their shoulder. They're a seven and a half point dog here. Totals 141 and a half. Kansas. Did not look great against Creighton. Uh, it was and, and it was a, it was shorthanded Creighton team. Uh, Kansas to me was, you know, I thought Baylor, the number one seed Baylor would uh, would bow out first of all. The number one seeds because of their injury problems, and I did think Kansas would be the next to bow out, and I think they could. I think they could. I'm not saying Providence is going to win. I like Providence in this game plus the seven and a half. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I flip flopped on this. I, I think I like Kansas here. Um, I just once again the Big 12, very impressive. Um, last game for Kansas. You know, I don't think uh, some of their players played as well as maybe they can. I think uh, you're gonna get a little bit different Kansas team here. I'm just looking at the box score. For Kansas, um, you know, obviously Remy Martin, you know, had had a big game. And, Terri- had a, had, he was terrific in the first half. Yeah, sure. kind, kind of saved him. Um, you know, Agbaji, okay. Uh, hey, they have good players. That's why they're number one seed. There's no yeah, big, yeah. No they, they were they, they had a little bit of a down game, I think, stat wise, and and some of the you know some of the guys struggled, but uh, I I just think that they're gonna. Come back here, and I, I, I've completely changed my opinion on Kansas here uh, in the last couple in the last week. I, I just think that they're, you know, maybe struggled a little bit in the league, have some losses because that league was really good. I, I just well, think good. probably going to be coming out of this bracket. 
Never you see any way that Providence Friars can can knock off this uh, Jayhawk team. You know, I don't see Providence winning this one, but just kind of reiterating what you guys saying, you know, Kansas not playing their best basketball, I feel like, right now. So they'll get through this round, but, um, you know, they're going to have to step it up or, you know, it doesn't look like the Jayhawks will be. No national championship in yeah. the Jayhawks future this year. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're going to win. Uh, yes, I, 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 do, I do see a way Providence can win this game. I really do. Uh, but uh, I will take the seven and a half points for sure. Now we go to the next game. You have an 11 and a 10. An 11 and 10 are going to move forward. Iowa State Cyclones, again, out of the Big 12, against Miami out of the ACC. So, there's, there's again, those conferences represented themselves pretty well. Uh, Iowa State, they beat an LSU team and then beat a just a poor showing by Wisconsin. Uh, and then Miami, who is, by the way, in this game, a two-and-a-half-point favorite. Total is 133-and-a-half. Miami, two and a half point favorite. They're playing very well. They're very well coached. Lyronega has been great for years. Uh, they beat USC out of Pac 12, and then they. Auburn wasn't even in the game. I mean, it's an Auburn team, a talented Auburn team. They they looked a little disinterested at times. They, they were frustrated. They were not in the game. That, to me, was just a great showing by uh, the, the Hurricanes. I just think here that, that you look at the total 133, I think Miami's going to struggle to score. I mean, if, when you look at these last the Iowa State scores, 50, 54, 49, 59, 54, um, you know, 53, 36. Yeah, they're they're going to try to make it look ugly for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the things Miami does do is play well offensively. So this is a, is a good bat- a battle against a, you know, a team that's going to try to, to make you, you, you look sloppy against a team that uh, has a lot of fire. You know, they're playing with four point guards pretty much. Miami plays for, with, with four guards. They can all handle the ball in one big, and, and that's the way they've been playing. Uh, you know, Jay Wright used to play that way back in, when he had Lowry and, and that crew. But uh, listen, it's an, undersized team. it's an undersized team that have to get uh, up and down. If Iowa I think- State controls the tempo, tempo then uh, you'd probably be right. I think I, I think I would probably you know pick Iowa State on the money line here, but I just I don't I, I just have really little feel for this game. I think it could go either way. Um, I think it's hard to get a feel at this point on a 10, 10 versus eleven. I really do. Yeah, uh, these obviously both these teams have overachieved in the tournament according to their seeding. So uh, you know it is it is tough to get a feel on this. Uh, I you know I when we did our live show. I said I was. I don't like Iowa State. They never come up big in situations like this. Well, they did. They came up big and uh, and, and they beat a Wisconsin team that was just lousy. A big Big Ten again. They, they've had they put up some clunkers again in this tournament, including that one by Wisconsin. I, I mean, at some point, like you, you got to. I wish the tournament would start. You know, calling these teams out. I mean. It's crazy. You know, this Iowa State team started pretty good this year, by the way. They yes. 10-0 and, yep. and you know, beat Xavier, beat Memphis, um, had some a couple, you know, a couple big wins. They they gave Baylor a lot of trouble. And then just really in the middle of the season, just kind of struggled. But you know, they they lost to Kansas 62-61, uh 70-61. So, you know, if they play Kansas again, then that would be interesting. Uh, I, I just think they're I don't know why. I just think they're, they, you know, they've played a better schedule, maybe, and maybe they're going to be win this game. You know, they have some big wins over TCU. They they've held some decent teams to 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 a limited amount of points, and I think when you have you know a little bit of time to prepare for these teams, sometimes it's it's just going to struggle. I, I just think it's going to be an ugly game, and I would probably take the under. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a feel for this game, and uh, I, I do think. As we said in other games, if Miami, if this game goes over, I think Miami will be the winner in that one. But I, I don't know. I, I don't have a feel for this game. It's a tough game at 11 and a 10. Let's take a look at the odds to come out of the Midwest. Uh, and it's minus 200. Yeah, well, that that'll, that uh, will scroll through and um, after the uh, point spreads here. But, yes, Kansas will be minus 200. You're going to see that on your screen at minus 200. So here's the thing, minus 200, which is clearly what we, we I guess we ex- definitely expect them to be the favorite. Miami at plus 500, Iowa State at plus 600, Providence at plus 650. Now, if you do think 
that Providence has a chance, and I do think Providence has a chance. This is a value bet because at plus 650 right now, if they can spring the upset, and again, I do believe they can, They'll be minus uh, money. They're going to be the favorite against Iowa State or Miami. So it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a great value bet uh, here uh, for Providence, and that's the direction I'm going. Again, it's a value bet. Obviously, they're the long shot for a reason. They're playing Kansas, but it is a great value bet at 650 in my opinion. So there you have it. We uh, broke this down. We, we have uh, all four regions for you. Remember, Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, a live show. We'll break it all down for you for the – for the Saturday games and the Sunday games, uh, we're coming live, 9 a.m. again, Eastern time. Uh, so, so we'll see you Saturday morning live. Remember, you on YouTube, yes, you. Go to that. Yeah, you got it. Gene, there you go. I know. I have, I'm having trouble. I have to go lefty to get the pointer in. I got to go lefty. I'm right hand. You, you, you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, notification bell. We really appreciate it. Uh, go to howtobet.com for exclusive uh, promos from from uh, various sports, sports books around the country, including the two you see scrolling on the bottom. That is FanDuel and PointsBet. They're giving you free money, folks. Take advantage. Take the money. Take the money. So for Sean the Genius Miller, for Mary Rodriguez, I'm Daryl Fine. Again, we'll see you Saturday live, 9 a.m. Go to howtobet.com. This has been your howtobet.com podcast. See you Saturday live, 9 a.m.